Our today's topic is about De Broglie hypothesis or the De Broglie equation. Louis De Broglie proposed that electron has a dual character as a wave and as a particle. In Bohr hypothesis, electron is taken as a particle, but De Broglie theory suggests that matter and thus electron, which is present inside the matter, also has a dual nature both as a particle and as a wave. Electron is taken as a wave, it must be associated with the wavelength, frequency, etc. So, if we take a nu is the frequ frequency of this wave and E is its energy, then according to the Planck equation, E equal to H nu. Right? So, we take an as equation 1. If electron is taken as a particle, its energy can be calculated or is given by the Einstein equation which is equal to mc square where m is the mass of electron and c is the velocity of light. So on comparing equation 1 and 2, what we get is mc equal to h nu upon c. So at last what we get on comparing equation 1 and 2 is equal to lambda up equal to h upon mc and momentum is also equal to the mass into, into speed of light that is in case of electron it is written as c but if we taken as a particle we can return it as v. <laughs> So where p is the momentum and lambda is the wavelength. So this equation, equation third can be applied to any particle having mass m and velocity v. Thus this equation is known as de Broglie equation. Lambda equal to h upon mv, uh, it is our de Broglie equation. Now come to the significance of de Broglie equation. Although the de Broglie equation is applicable to all the material objects, but it has a significant role in case of microscopic particles. Why it is so? This is because the wavelength produced by a bigger particle come out to be too small to be observed. That is, we, we, can't, we are not able to observe that wavelength. Cause wavelength and mass are inversely proportional, right? If we conclude from this equation also, lambda is inversely proportional to the m. If we increase the mass, then wavelength is going to be decrease. So, only particles like electrons, atoms, etc. give an observable value of lambda according to the de Broglie equation. So what we conclude that uh, it is significance only in case of the microscopic particles.